Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Kwame. Um, thank you for watching my videos. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Um, you can support the channel by subscribing. Um, I'm a photographer. I do mostly landscape portrait and um, micro photography. You can see some of my uh, photos uh, rolling right down the screen. I just want to talk about what is in my camera bag for 2020. Um, these are some of the stuff I have in my camera bag. Um, it might change. So this is what I do. Um, this is the bag itself. If I'm going out in landscape or maybe I'm in the house or maybe I'm going on a, a portrait or maybe a, a client book me for um, a photo shoot, this is the bag I carry around. Uh, the bag itself is called Shimoda. Um, you can see over here, uh, Shimoda. I hope I'm getting the name right. And um, it's, this is about a four, uh, 40 liters. So I just want to tell you what is in my camera bag for 2020. Um, maybe some of the stuff is going to change. I might get rid of, uh, I might sell some of uh, my EF lenses. I'm trying to move to all, all my lenses going to be um, RF lenses. So I just want to show you my main camera body. Right now I'm recording on the Canon um, ROP right now. That's my backup camera. Uh, so if I'm at a location or maybe I'm going for a portrait or maybe I'm at a location, um, then the EOS app may be fine, may don't work or something. So I use the EOS RP for recording videos behind the scenes, uh, taking some uh, tam uh, sample shot. So this is my main camera. If you are familiar with my channel, you should know this camera by now. This is the Canon um, EOS R. I have it with the, um, the, um, the carbon fiber wrap. So this is the camera itself. I have a review of this, um, this camera coming up. Um, this is the 51.1.2 uh, RF 51.2 F lens. So this is the camera body itself. Um, and I always have my memory card in here i have a lot of them as a photographer you need to have a lot of these things uh memory card so this i uh, have always have 20 um 128 this is one of the best cards i have i have two of them so i always have one in this uh in the camera all the time whenever i'm just even if it's at home or the camera is not being used i, I make my camera ready to be go because i've ever drive for about two to three hours to go do a land uh for a landscape photo shoot then i forgot about my memory card so i always keep a memory card uh, handy so this is the um the camera body is up. So this is my main camera body. I have the RP um, uh, recording this video with the 24 uh, f1.4, the EF version. Um, this is my, my 100. This is my macro. This is one of my favorite lenses of all time. I had this lens for about two years now. Uh, this is the, um, the L lens version. So this is a 100 um, 2.8, f2.8. Uh, this is a full macro lens. So you can have it. I really treasure some of my, uh, my lenses and stuff. I keep them well sealed. As a professional, I need to keep it. This, a lot, this stuff costs a lot of money. So if you want to keep it, you got to keep it, uh, make sure you're keeping it well. So it's always, all my lenses always have the um, closed, the lens cap, I always keep them like this. This is my favorite lens for, uh, for landscape, my wide angle lens. This is the 16 to 35, the F4 version. Because I use for landscape, I don't need um, maybe an uh, maybe 2.8. I might. Uh, I'll be. I will be getting the um, 16 to 35 RF version to replace this one. So I have it with the. This is my main lens for video. So I have it there. Um, this is the uh, Peter McKinnon, uh filter on it. So you can just see. So this is what I, um, always for my landscape. If you see more of my landscape, this is what I shoot with. I have this lens for about two years now. So probably the, by the end of the year, I'm gonna get rid of this lens. I'm going to sell it probably on eBay or just uh, trade it in to get an RF version. So this is how I keep it all the time. This is how I keep it. And um, this is my favorite lens of all time. This is what I use for portrait. So this is the, um, the EF85 1.2. This is the beast. I've had this lens for about three years now. I really love this lens. Um, it's about, uh, I'm trying to sell it right now. But uh, for some reason, I'm keeping it. So this is one of the lenses that I will not make it probably by the end of the year. I might sell it because I hardly use it because of the, uh, the 51.2. It's really uh, sharper than this one. And I really love the 50. So this is one of the lenses I might get rid of it uh, in the near future, probably by the end of the year. Um, this one lens I keep with me all the time. It's been in my bag since I got it. So this is the RF 35 F 1.8. I keep it in my bag it's because it's compact and because it's small. I always put it on a... Uh, this is what I used to record all my behind the scenes with the Eros RP. It's pairs so good. And uh, I use this for some of, maybe sometimes for product photography. So if you've seen some of my product, for, product photography, this is it. And uh, this is my, my uh, DJI Maverick um, 
Air 2. This is my, uh, my drone of choice. I had um, the DJI Maverick Air 2. I sold it because this one is better than that one. This one takes, um, it flies better. So it's always have a spot in my bag all the time. No matter where I'm going, I keep it with me all the time. And so I have it with the, well, I had a fly more combo. These are some of the batteries. I have one and uh, two, so there are three of them. So whenever I'm going on a, on a photo shoot landscape, I keep it with me just for recording behind the scenes. I do a lot of drone uh, work too. So on the other side of the bag, I have the, uh, the remote control for the Maverick um, right here. So this um, is all that you see. So the bag is empty, the, um, this everything. So when you go to on top of the bag, this is gonna be on top of the bag right here. So I keep my road microphone, this for vlogging, uh, whenever I'm doing behind the scenes or I'm just uh, walking around, this is uh, the mic I use for uh, the road. Video Mic Pro Plus, it's really good. Uh, this is the strap for the EOS R. Uh, I told you I do a lot of um, landscape and sometimes I do a lot of street photography and long exposure. So sometimes I try to, if I'm going to hold it or maybe I'm on top of a cliff or maybe on a mountain, this is what I hold, um, the camera strap. And um, what I have, I have um, filters for my, this is the um, filters for, for the Maverick right here. They stay in my bag all the time. So I have a couple of them. Um, this is one more of the, uh, the filters. So these are from Polar Pro. Um, if you uh, top of the bag right here, as you can see right here, I keep my batteries uh, as a photographer. If you do landscape, you need to have. So I have two extra batteries for the EOS R. These are two more extra batteries I have for the, um, the RP. And uh, this is one more battery for the EOS R. I think I have four of them. Okay, it's four. So two, uh, two more batteries for the um, EOS uh, RP. Uh, three more batteries for EOS R. I have um, some connections right here. So this is going to be for the um, for my microphones. The, if you have a V, you know how these things go. We need to have the microphone. So this is what I use. Um, this the DJI uh, filters that came with the the drone, the uh, Maverick 2, but I hardly use it. It's cause it's not the best. Uh, this is the connection for the um, the drone itself. So this on on this side of the bag, um, you're just going to have a little bit of um, accessories that I keep with me. Uh, these are stuff that I use. Uh, this is for my gimbal, uh, so whenever I'm going to put it on the gimbal, I don't keep it in my bag, so that's why I have a lot of stuff I don't show, I'm not sure, I'm not sure any, I just want to show you stuff that is in my bag, wherever I'm going, whenever I'm on location, if I'm traveling, I'm trying to catch a plane or catch a bus or just on the road, this is what I keep with me. We come to the side of this bag right here, uh, this bag is really good, um, I recommend it for anybody who want a, a real professional camera bag, so this is my, my favorite uh, flash, this is the Godos V1. So whenever I'm going on uh, for portrait, I use the uh, AD400, but this is my, my, my backup if I'm going to do event or if I need a flash or just to light behind the scenes or just behind the, um, uh, the subject or maybe behind somebody taking a, a portrait. So this is what I use. Uh, I just had this about almost about two months now. I'm really loving it. I don't think I can do um, a review on this. This is an old product, so I don't want to waste my time doing a review. So when we go to the front on the back, this is where I have my most uh, my most favorite thing. This is um, where I keep. This is my Polar Pro uh, filter right here. You can't be a landscape photographer without um, a filter. This is my, my filter, so right, this is how I keep it. I have a, re a video coming up uh, on the review on this one. So I have the, um, the circular polarizer here. Then I have the 10, uh, 10 stop, it's ready to go. Uh, this is how I keep it in my bag all the time. So before I get to the scene to do a waterfall, or maybe long exposure or landscape, I already have it set up. So this um, always stays in my bag. Um, it doesn't matter if I'm gonna do uh, just a normal, I'm a landscape photographer, so I keep them. So they come in this part. So this is gonna be uh, one, some of the, um, the filters right here. And uh, I think I have the six stop um, ND. In this one. But last but not least, uh, this is one of my favorite lens. Uh, this is the RF 800 for my wildlife. I didn't. Uh, it's not in my bag because it's too big. If I'm going out or maybe probably to the zoo or to just do a wildlife photo shoot, I take everything out of the bag and I probably just put this one in the bag. As you can see, it's really uh, huge it's to be in the bag all the time. So I wish it was a little bit smaller so I can put it in the bag. 
uh, whenever I'm going on a landscape photo shoot. So, so this one just stays at home. So whenever I just take it with me, so just an honorable mention. My expectation, this are, I'm trying to use the EOS R for probably one more year, but I'm going to replace the RP with uh, EOS R6. So that one is going to come up. So some of the things that's going to change, I'm still going to keep this body. I'm going to get a, um, the EOS R6 to replace the RP. So I'm going to sell the RP. I'm going to get um, the 35, uh, uh, 15 to 35, the RF version 2.8. I'm going to get a 70 to 200, um, 2.8 the RF. So these are some of the lenses I have coming up. So thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to the channel just to show your support. Uh, it helps uh, YouTube um, to get more views and more likes. Thank you. See you in the next video. I'm out.